Woke up this morning, more eggs. It's like the zillionth time I've lost count. Let's check out how the other ones are going. The Fish Room, helping you keep beautiful aquariums. All right, so what have I learned in this whole time trying to breed or spawn or raise these whiptails? First thing I've learned is they spawn really easy. I haven't quite worked out exactly why they're spawning, but they're spawning easy. Second thing I've worked out, it's really easy to hatch the fry. Very simple, scrape them off, they hatch, we're good. Third thing I've worked out is incredibly hard to raise the fry. That is the issue that I'm struggling with, but let's try and work through this. Okay, so this lot of fry here hatched earlier in the week. Now, I don't know what number it is of spawn. Uh, we must be getting close to double digits since I've been working on this project. So like I said, they're, they're hatching really easy, they're spawning really easy, but I'm struggling to raise them. Now this lot in here is my accumulated amount so far from all the spawns. Uh, there's more than two in there, I promise, but there's not much more. Um, yeah, I think there might only be a dozen or so in here, so it's, it's a bit of a struggle at this point. However, what I have learnt, talking to breeders, is that they prefer to live on um, a substrate of leaf and stuff like that. So that's why I've got the leaf at the bottom, which is why it's hard to see them. So it's the first thing that I've been trying. And the second thing I've been trying is changing the food. So I was suggested to try the Rapashi Spawn and Grow. It's got a very high protein content, so that's what I've been trying. Apparently whiptails, when they are smaller, from the reading I've done and the talking that I've done with some breeders, like lots of protein. Since I've swapped over to this food, I have not noticed a mass uh, die-off from that group that's in there at the moment and on the leaf litter. So, so far so good with this, and so far so good with the leaf litter. However, the very wise breeder friend of mine suggested that I put a bit of a plastic sheet at the bottom of the breeder box. Apparently they don't like breeding, oh sorry, eating off the net. So the next lot of spawn that's coming through, which is the one that I showed at the start of the video, I'm going to put a wee plastic card at the bottom of this one. These whip tails I'm going to put into with this group here. There goes a few more now that I've moved around a bit. So I'll leave this breeding net open. I'm going to put the plastic in here and I'm going to feed them on the Rapashi spawn and grow. So fingers crossed that improves the success rate. So that'll be trying something at different at the bottom still feeding on the rapashi because i think that's working and then as it gets slightly bigger into here move them on to feeding off the broken up uh, leaf litter so there we go it's all trial and error like i said i am not a breeder i never have been a breeder but i just thought i'd play around with a few things um and you know the royal wolf tails just have to be spawning so why not give them a home that's pretty much all we've got for this episode of flog uh, I'm yet to set up the breeding tank for glow lights and stuff like that. I'm still glowing, glowing, growing all the tetras out, but they will definitely be coming soon. I'm having a bit of a change around in here as I normally do, and we'll get some tanks going for them. But at the moment, I'm just sort of growing them up, plumping them up, feeding them up on micro worms and some white worms and vinegarils and stuff like that. So when they're ready to go, they'll be ready to rock and hopefully they'll just spawn out of the, the tetras and I can start on that brigade to get some um, cardinals going. That's all I've got. Have a good one, guys. Happy fish keeping. Catch you later.